here's the success of our stitching of the panels together. It's quite good. Now, uh, um, whilst some panels come with MC4 connectors um, already fitted on, I don't actually trust these connectors, which seem to be held on by a sort of a foam. Um, it's a bit difficult to see there. There's that foam. So I've been putting CT1 mastic around there to ensure that that's uh, held in. And these ones come with the bare connectors. And so um, these wires come straight out of the... Oh, these wires come straight out of the encapsulation. And so I've got to solder these on. So I've prepared this wire here, which will go between all of the panels. So this will be soldered onto there, um, and I'll wrap um, that around and solder it on. And I've left this as a continuous wire, just bared in these areas, so that um, each of these can be soldered on in its allotted place, uh, to then put an MC4 connector on the end of the wire at the other end. So I'm going to solder those on and then it will be sealed with CT1 and something on top. I'm sorry this isn't focusing very well but what I've done is to split the wire here as the strands so that there's a hole and I've pushed um, this one foil through the middle um, and over the top and one over the top and through the middle so that um, uh, regardless of how the solder takes to the wire, and after all this could end up a dry joint because there's a lot and my soldering iron is probably underpowered. I'm pushing that in there if I can, pushing it through. Um, um, uh, the, um, it will mean, hopefully, that uh, there will be a good joint here. Um, I've got a proper soldering iron here um, with a decent tip. And um, this is, uh, this you can see the solder melting there nice and easily. And with luck, uh, this solder now should want to flow into the whole joint and by capillary action go between all of the wires. Let's try and flow it into there. Uh, it's gone solid. It's not surprising, there's lots, that's it now, it's, now it's flowing. So all of these junctions are now going to be done like that. That's it. Now that is a solid lump of solder. Can't come undone. So here's the next one. Let's see how well this flows. Let's start heating it up. flowing nicely into there. Even when I apply the wire there to the end of that wire, it's flowing nicely into the whole joint. So here we have the positive connector here, linking all four up and joined to an MC4 connector at the end and we're just rolling this up so that we can take it onto the roof. So once up here it's a matter of of course cleaning off the roof but putting glue up each of these ridges and rolling it out flat and this is a panel that's been done for a couple of days and the sun comes from this side it's this so this is facing east west and the sun's coming this way and by uh, d uh, d doing it this way it means that any crinkles don't self shadow you can see the crinkles over there if the sun comes from that side or that side then it can produce a shadow across there which then blocks current from one end to the other so orientating these east to west rather than uh, north to south means that um, they won't actually self-shadow like that, so it won't make any difference. Um, 
we hope that by uh, stitching them together um, uh, d downstairs before we bring them up rather than stitching them together up here um, we hope that um, we'll get a, a more even uh, uh, installation anyway. Here we've got the uh, wires which are ready to go into uh, to be connected up. We're using 6mm wire because it's quite a distance up to the roof in there and the inverters there. You can see the panels up on that face of roof that we have installed on the slate roofs and we'll put another couple of panels along the edge of the top roof as well all the way around the uh, east, south and west. It's rather difficult to see these lines of um, CC1 type glue on these ridges um, but um, um, anywhere where there's a bit of metal we're putting um, a little plastic dot um, but um, it's a very, very easy thing to do so we'll just roll it out. Here's the previous one, it's really stuck down very very well, that's not going to move um, and we're leaving enough space between the next one is going to come to here so we're going to leave enough space here to uh, to uh, walk between to clear them off leaves or whatever um, and this is the application of the glue um, this roof sheet is slightly bent at the top so we're doing an extra layer just on the top ridge there uh, no don't press it down yet no I'd roll it out first and then it we got the we can then pull it and stretch it. Well, I think that that possibly is a little bit straighter as it is. And when we uh, put screws in at the top and um, and um, uh, uh, stretch it, um, I think it'll be fine. So another two to go.